Hi, I'm Tom Williams, Managing Director of the Utah Science, Technology and Research Initiative, known as USTAR. USTAR's mission is to accelerate the commercialization of science and technology ideas generated from entrepreneurs, university researchers, and private sector companies. In this video, you'll meet one company highlighting how USTAR is impacting the science and technology communities in Utah. They are an example of one of USTAR's competitive grant programs. In this case, they won a Technology Acceleration Program, or TAP Award. Enjoy the video. Pollen Sense is a device that automatically gathers data on what pollen and other particulates are in the air. It's a device that basically sucks in air, collects all the airborne particulates that are in a given size range. They land in a place where they can be imaged. Our technology actually can give a very specific image. We use artificial intelligence algorithms to recognize and categorize the different types of air particulates. For somebody who has asthma that is triggered by allergies, this is an emergency room visit. This is potentially life or death. They need that information and our device is going to bring that to them. So most people assume that there are a big network of these devices because you see a pollen forecast on the weather channel, and, but, but this data actually comes from computer models based on allergy medicine sales. That would be sort of like trying to uh, tell the weather based on umbrella sales. The reason you want automated pollen counting is because the people that are counting pollen right now are doing it one by one. And in the U.S., there are roughly 80 sites where people are counting pollen one by one. It's not a dense enough network of pollen counting. And so we could actually, with a, with a large enough network of our devices in an area, we could actually determine kinds of soot or the types of pollution that would be being emitted by different polluters. So if there's some question as to whether this particular dust or this particular industrial location is, is creating health problems, we can triangulate that. Utah is a great place for us as a startup. Uh, we have a lot of great universities. Uh, we also have light manufacturing, assembly resources available to us. Research is very important here, obviously, because of the, the inversion on the Wasatch Front. So there's a good critical mass of, of groups that are interested in air quality. Working with USTAR, it, it was funding that we needed to work on some critical software. We also were connected with resources and advisors. It was a very hands-on program to make sure that we succeeded. In five years, we hope to have a very dense network of pollen counters or airborne particulate counters that will provide real-time information for the end user, someone who suffers from allergies or, or whatever. We expect to also have a prosumer device that somebody could have in their home and know in real time what specific pollen and or other air particulates are in their area. The device works. It's exciting to see the, the data coming in and now we just need to get uh, a little bit further down the road. We need to get the devices out there and, and start to get that network built up and, and the information will pour in. To learn more about the programs featured in this video and to see other programs offered by USTAR, please visit ustar.org.